Today in our drug interaction series, we're going to run down some examples of drug disease interactions. A drug disease interaction typically means that the medication may worsen or exacerbate a particular medical condition or disease that the patient already has. So we're gonna look at a couple examples. If a patient has hypertension or high blood pressure, any medication with a side effect of raising blood pressure would have a drug disease interaction. A significant interaction would look like something like Adderall, for example, dextroamphetamine and amphetamine salts. Amphetamines work by mimicking our sympathetic nervous system. And of course, we see a dose-dependent increase in blood pressure in around uh, 15 to 30% of patients taking this drug. Think about something like duloxetine, Cymbalta. Duloxetine is a serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor, and the fact that duloxetine has an effect on norepi signaling means that it has the potential to cause high blood pressure as well. Though we only see this in a small percentage of patients in a small bump of two to four millimeters of mercury. And even something like Sudafed for colds or congestion. Pseudoephedrine has the potential to raise blood pressure as well, creating a drug disease interaction for anyone with hypertension. Other examples could be non-selective beta blockers in patients with asthma, as they can cause bronchoconstriction and an asthma attack. Corticosteroids, like prednisone, can increase blood sugar, which would be a drug disease interaction with diabetes or even over-the-counter NSAIDs, like an ibuprofen or a naproxen, which can cause the body to retain sodium and water and contribute to fluid overload in heart failure patients. I'd love to hear what drug disease interactions you're seeing in the field. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown. Make sure that you subscribe for our next update.